Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be talking about the Aerial Rider Grizzly, their new 52 volt dual motor e-bike. Now before we get into it, I just want to let you know I could save you 50 bucks if you click on my affiliate link in the description below. I also have a coupon code as well just in case the link isn't working. But save yourself 50 bucks on any of the e-bikes on Aerial Rider's website. All right, so we're going to go over the bike, the look of it, some of the features that make it shine, make it stand out, make it unique, and also my overall opinion of the bike. All right, so the bike is going to be $32.99. Right now it's going for $27.99, and I'll show you the tiers down here a bit later. So you have the high-rise bars just like the D-Class, so very comfortable to sit on this bike, especially for taller riders. You also get this one-seater, which I'm kind of disappointed they didn't include the longer seat. Uh, I do recommend anybody getting this bike to get the longer seat. It's just more comfortable. You can ride with two people, but even if you're riding with just yourself, it's easier to move back if you're not comfortable up front. So this kind of limits you as to where you can sit. You have the nice bright headlight with the halo around it. You got the fenders, which Aerial Rider includes, like a lot of companies don't. They give you the fenders, which is very nice of Aerial Rider to do. You also get the dual batteries, which is a huge feature of this bike. This is why a lot of people are purchasing this. So the dual batteries will give you 32 amp hours of power between the two batteries. So the rear battery, which will function as a brake light as well, just like on the Duke class, will give you 18 amp hours of battery of power. And also the one in the frame will give you 14 amp hour. Right, you also have the dual suspension, which is very nice to have. I'm telling you, with the hardtail on the D-Class, you feel every single bump. This bike is going to be super comfortable. I can only imagine how comfortable it's going to be to ride. You also have the pedals, which I think this will give you up to five levels of pedal assist, unlike the D-Class, which will give you nine. So I'm not sure if you can bump that up just like you can on the D-Class because you can go 6 to 9. Not sure if they go maybe 5 to 7 or 5 to 8. All right, you also get the physical gears. I believe you get 7 physical gears Shimano on this bike. All right, So you get a, a pretty good range of, of physical gears to pedal if you run out of battery. All right, You also have the dual motors which are 750 watts each. 1500 watts peak nominal power. You also get these puncture resistant tires. And these tires are really nice too because they didn't go too much off-road and they also didn't go too much on-road, all right? So you get the uh, the best of both worlds. So this would be good for off-roading and on-roading. So it's got it's got like a, a buggy-ish look to it, I think. And it looks to be a little, a little shorter than the D-Class, so it would be nice for shorter riders to be able to ride this bike. Just an overall good look of the bike and it's got a nice red and black styling and that's the only one you can get right now so I'm not sure they're planning on coming out with any more colors in the future but right now this is the only one to choose from. You got the view from the back as you can see the tail light. These discounts will not last so the first 300 bikes sold for $25.99 at a steal in my opinion. With the two batteries it's an absolute steal but right now we're on the next tier. We're on the $27.99 price. This is limited for the next 600 e-bikes. So once this is sold out, you can no longer get this price. So if you're looking to buy this bike, get it at this price while you can before it goes up another $200 to $29.99 for the next 750 e-bikes. And of course, use my affiliate link to save another 50 bucks. Dual motors, dual suspension, dual battery, designed for adventures. This bike just looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's just going to be a blast. I could I could already feel it. And honestly, the 52-volt system on it compared to the 48, which is really powerful on the D-Class, especially going up hills. Hills are no, it's no competition for the D-Class, so I can only imagine how powerful this thing is going to be with the 52-volt system. All right, all-wheel drive, full suspension, two batteries. Why are our bikes more powerful? So Aerial D-Class actually puts metal gears in their motors instead of these nylon which strip very easily so you get a lot of problems with a lot of companies out there uh, with their motors and it's because they use nylon gears these ones are actually designed by aerial rider which are metal gears so these are going to last you a lot longer and you're also going to get a lot more torque with these motors having the metal gears so just keep that in mind when ordering your bikes aerial rider uses the best of the best motors out there like I said before, you have the 52 volt system is going to equate to more power, more speed, more efficiency, and also longer range. 
They say the Grizzlies are going to get you up to 75 plus mile range. And honestly, I think that's only for the lowest pedal assist, to be honest. With the full throttle on the D-Class with the one battery, I wasn't even getting 20 miles with full throttle. Uh, on this, I'm thinking full throttle is going to get you anywhere from 40 to 50 miles. But that's just a guess on full throttle. But, you know, I could definitely see you getting a lot more mileage with the pedal assist, the lower pedal assist. And that's obviously going to depend on your weight, uh, the size, what you're carrying on the bike, and all that stuff. You know, weather, things like that. So it'll be interesting to see what the numbers actually equate to if they're anywhere close to what Aerial Rider is saying you'll get. Uh, of course, they keep pointing out the suspension, which is going to be super nice, especially in the rear. Uh, this is where you can upgrade your seat. This is the one seater. Like I said, I recommend getting that full seat on the back so you can move back as far as you, you can, as far as it's going to make you feel comfortable. So you're not just blocked by this little hump here. You have the whole seat to move about. Technical specs, we'll go over some of these. Key features, two 750-watt motors, 1,500-watt uh, peak. Change your traction with this button here so you can go from front, rear, to all-wheel drive with just a click of a button or a flip of the switch. 32-amp-hour battery. So like I said, it's split in two batteries, so you get an 18-amp-hour on the back, and also in the middle of the frame, you get a 14-amp-hour. Full suspension, which is going to be super nice. They keep pointing this out, but like I said, this is going to make a huge difference. Safety. So the safety on this bike, you get anti-puncture tires, which can be really nice to not have to worry about while you're out riding if you're going to get a flat because it's just a pain in the butt to get a flat while you're riding and you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. All right, But I do recommend putting some slime in those tires, but these will be nice to prevent those uh, punctures and those flats. Hydraulic disc brakes at the speeds we're going at with these bikes today. It's nice to have these Tektro hydraulic disc brakes for some nice stopping power, just to make sure you're stopping. The rear light, you get a nice rear light. Like I said, it functions as a brake light, so once you hit that brake, it's going to light up. Motor cutoff, so no matter how fast you're going, if you're going uphill, downhill, whatever, if you have the motor engaged, as soon as you hit the brake, it's going to disengage that motor. Even if you're pulling the throttle, twisting that throttle as long as you hit that brake it's going to disengage that motor full fender so you get two fenders on this bike to keep that mud out keep that dirt out keep that water out we'll see how well these work because some some of these bikes they don't work very well the fenders they just don't cover enough uh, we'll see how those work but it's nice that aerial rider includes those attention to details like i said this bike looks really really nice really really sharp definitely has a different unique look to it so if you're not feeling it you know, I'm, I'm sure people are, are either going to really like it or really hate it. But I really like this bike. I really can't wait to get my hands on this bike. So you got some technology going on here. You have the nice colored screen, which comes with the D-Class as well. I'm not sure if it's an upgraded screen. But this is really nice to have. It's really sharp looking. Uh, just a lot of color with that screen instead of having the just the, uh, you know, the boring black and white. Get the nice halo on the headlight. Really pumped to see how bright this light is. Electronics, you can go over some of these electronics that they have on the bike. And the range here says 30, 35 to 60 miles when it said 75 plus on the top. So I'm not really sure what numbers we're going to get on this bike. Like I said, five levels of pedal assist. Bike components, you can read this after. And the FAQs and you get some pictures of some people on the Aero Rider Grizzly. Super sharp bike. Super awesome with the two batteries, the 52 volt system, which is going to be super powerful, super efficient. It's just going to be a really, really cool bike, especially with those dual motors. You can go anywhere. The hills will not give this thing any trouble. This thing's just going to fly up hills, I'm telling you. So if you're interested in the bike, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this bike, what you, you know, think about the looks, think about the features on this bike. If you think you're going to order it, let me know. And like I said, use that affiliate link for 50 bucks off. Until next time, thanks for watching and peace out.